Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Maggie and I'm here to do a Dollar Tree shop with me. But before we go in to see what's new, because I haven't been to this particular location in a while, do you observe that I'm wearing a jacket? It's cold enough for me to need a jacket. Oh, I'm so happy and so thrilled. So this, I just bring on the, the fall weather. That's all I have to say. Bring on the fall weather so I can enjoy. This is my favorite time of year, this favorite season and the temperatures, and I hope it's nice where you are. So let's go check out Dollar Tree and see what's new. Okay. So the new pumpkin pattern this year has the uh, turquoise pumpkins. <coughs> the little wire. and pumpkins. Mm -hmm. And then here are the signs. I've seen these in other places. for goodies. Maybe make yourself some apple cider donuts. Mm. Here's the Halloween aisle. And oh, wait a minute. I haven't seen these anywhere. Oh, and there's a light inside it too. Those are new. I haven't seen those. And they have them in black and the purple. Well, that's new. I love it. Here are the fun boxes. Very nice. We've seen those. Some fun socks. These little drawstring bags are cute. Candy corns with 
favorite. And then there's all the fun little goody things you could put into a goodie bag. Okay. My, um, my niece just graduated um, and is a certified phlebotomist. And um, her graduation party is going to feature syringes. For those who don't know, phlebotomists are those people who draw your blood. Yes, I do want them to know what they're doing if they're poking me and taking something out of my body. Now, these gift bags are cute. I don't know why I always love the Frankenstein ones. They're so cute to me. Now, these are cute now. Marie of Crafty Girl cuts off the ring part and then adds these to like a paper clip. Which I think is neat because it's kind of feminine and creepy at the same time. Although, I don't do creepy. Oh my gosh. Wait, did I see these before? These are cute. And again, the Frankenstein is just adorable. Okay, these, these window clings can be super cute. I know they do the, the nice ones for the fall. Yeah. Beware of wolf. Danger. This is if you're decorating your house. Party zone. Candy ahead. That's cute. Stay away. Caution. Keep out. Those are nice. And then, glad to see they have Halloween makeup, which is nice. <clears throat> Four cups. And then they do have paper plates and things that you can use. And then down here, the little spider web, like chip bowls and things like that. Those are nice. Although, what's with the pink top? Is that supposed to be a brain? I've never understood. It's nice that they have all four. And then there's baskets up here in the fall colors, which is really nice. All right. Behind me, you're seeing all the little tinsel decor and the felt, which we've seen in other places. Here's a fun jack-o'-lantern infinity scarf. And some more of these signs that I've seen in other places. A creepy cloth. Some more of the little zipper seal bags. So these are really cute. And then we see those. So and then the tombstones for the yard. These are like fat little gel sticker things. They definitely give you what you want if you want to decorate at a very inexpensive price. I know some people go all out. Halloween's like their favorite. So for me, it's the candies and costumes, but I don't like scary. <laughs> and here, I'm glad to see they always bring these back, the carvable pumpkins. Although, has anybody ever really tried carving these? Do they work or do they just make a mess? They just feel to me like they would be super messy. I don't know if you can use this with these. I was glad to see they offer them in black and white, although I don't see the white here, I just see the orange. And then this makes it extra fun. I don't know if these body parts would be too big for these or not. We'll see, we're coming around this corner. Here's some more of the uh, flowers, the dahlias that are in the Halloween colors, black and dark purple. The Day of the Dead stuff. And then you have, we've seen these, and I'm glad that they still pretty much have a good supply. Cupcake wrappers and cupcake picks and different things. That's what you'd like to do. And the 
this is a glitter tea light candle. So it's supposed to look like a... Here's a different one with a ghost. Sparkle mesh, different things. Yeah, we've seen these in all the other places. I'm not really seeing anything new here, including these. I have these, actually. I didn't get this one because it says, Hello October. I wish it just said autumn or fall because that kind of limits as to when you can put that out. <laughs> and this is what I would like to see. More apples. Apples in September, pumpkins in October, right? Is it just me? These are very nice. Oh, these are cute. I love the animals. There's more of the velvet and the glittery pumpkins, the uh, buffalo check pumpkins. I have two of the orange ones. And then these, just to your desk or something, got a little, little splash of fall color. And they do have the, you know, welcome mats. I love it. Here's this end cap. This is heavy. This is not something to hang on the wall. And then we have this one that says harvest. Oh, that one's damaged. This one's damaged. And they have four different kinds in this one. Apple, cherry, pecan, and I think they also have pumpkin, if I'm not mistaken. Pumpkin pie. Nice. Uh oh, this one broke. This is nice. You could be. I did not do that, but I will pick it up. <laughs> Tea light here with fragrance oil up here. Really nice. And then these are cute here. The middle charm. I love that. And then you have the ones that are faceted and the ones that are smooth. And these are just so nice because you get the ambers, the purples, the oranges, the dark greens. And then these ceramic pumpkins are really nice. The owl and the leaf candles are darling along with the acorn candles. And then these are the, the new fragrances. This is Bartlett Pear Cider, Toasted Marshmallow Fluff. Berry, and this is a French toast and pumpkin butter, and they have the twine and a charm on them. Very nice. They smell fantastic. And right behind me, this end cap has all the fall things. What's new to me are these napkins. Being, this is very pretty. Not just for napkin use, obviously but um, paper crafting. Decoupaging these. And then they have some others down here. Really nice plaids. Look at those plates. Thankful. So nice. daughter last night singing Burt Bacharach so you're going to hear me whistling I say a little prayer for you because that's in my brain okay these look like they're new cookies for Santa
Christmas is trickling in. First day of fall. But I get it. Some people want these crafts to be finished prior to. And they do have some new things here. They do have some new things here. Which is nice. Yeah. I love these. Fill these with candy, hang them on the tree. Those went fast last year. Okay, Christmas is here. They don't at the outset appear to have as many of the vinyl, but they could be in a different place. What is this? Transfer tape. I've heard the glitter is extremely difficult to work with in the Cricut, so I'm not sure if that's a good deal. They have plenty of the white final paper. There's an iron on the art. And then this is tool. They have some of the other things, but there could be more in another place. I don't know. All right, I'm in the baby shower and the bridal shower section. Now, the Dollar Tree closest to my house had to kind of do away with their bridal section because it just wasn't um, you know feasible for them they really weren't getting but look at this this is metal I love that bride balloon team bride I love that they have things like this And then, of course, the regular party decorations. Really nice. Here's a whole array of thank you cards. I don't think I've seen some of these before. Look at that one. It's precious. I'm totally getting these. I like it too. Bless your heart for your kindness. Bless you for your kindness. And then it's blank. Oops. Bless your heart for being so nice. Those are different. Hmm. I'm coming down the teacher aisle. Don't miss these maps. You can look for these. That's good for your home, but also you can use it in paper crafting as well. These reusable dry erase pockets. You just put the worksheet inside and let them write on the plastic where you can wipe it off and reuse it again and again. See? It comes with a sheet. They still seem to have some of the uh, notebooks, the hundred, and then calendars. <clears throat> These are fantastic. Those are good, don't miss those. These right here, these bingo markers, I've gotten one of each color for non-messy painting with my granddaughter, and this is, I need these. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is a nice, nice notebook. It's very well done. area of crafting. I'm seeing more of the tools. They have the knitting needles, the paper packs, which are, you just never know what's going to be in there. And then they have more of these zebra pens. These are nice. And these are the pink and the red ink. There's boxes in the way. And here are the zebra colored pencils, which are fantastic. They even have the 
litter tiles. I actually got these. Now they have one of each letter. See, there's 26, so it's A to Z, one of each. So if you need multiples, buy the multiples to spell names and whatnot. But I had gotten several packs of those, and for Father's Day, I bought a Dollar Tree picture frame. I printed off a picture of my um, granddaughter and my husband, and then my granddaughter with her other grandfather, and my granddaughter with her daddy. Put them in a frame, and then use these tiles to spell out Daddy, Papa, or Papa. <coughs> it was so cute. And I glued them right onto the glass. Use the matting to put the pictures in and everything else. Do however you want, but it was so cute. They seem to have... I'm looking for the seed beads that are in the glass vials. I've seen other people. Marie of Crafty Girl has, um, has them. And here's some more of the vinyl. I knew they might be in a different place. Yeah, I've heard that the glitter vinyl is not really good on a Cricut. I don't have a Cricut, so I couldn't say. But that's what I've been hearing from other people who have them. And then there's some more down there as well. So... Maybe they're in the process of transferring them from one place to another. And then you have the wooden and the galvanized steel things. So, and then all these shapes and figures. Don't forget that soaking these in some warm water separates them into three or four layers so you get more bang for your buck. Unless you need them to be that thick. So... We're in the book section. I'm going to see what we've got here. Oh, I've seen these. Bruno's box. I love these hardbound Disney abandoned books. I know they do their best to keep these things neat, but it's hard when you have people behind. Okay, what is this? Oh, it's a storybook and a growth chart. How cute is that? I don't want to open this up. Hold on. the storybook. Oh, I see. And then there's the growth chart. Oh, that's adorable. That's really cute. are just adorable. Again, I have all five issues. I think I'm missing the very first issue of the Frozen because there's four different comics. We have Disney Princess, Frozen, Mickey Mouse, and Toy Story. And in actuality, for the fifth one, um, Toy Story went away and they started doing the, um, oh my gosh, <sighs> DuckTales? Yep. adorable. Stars in the sky. Barbie, you can be a vet. The Angelina Ballerina sleepover party. Cupcake day. I believe I have all these. Daniel goes out for dinner. PJ Masks. Help each other. Look at these. These are just such great books. These come with a CD. Let's see. Yep. That's really nice. Let's 
Such a great, inexpensive add-on gift for stockings, birthdays, you know, whichever. And book ownership, really, I mean, when a child develops a love for reading, it gives them advantages that they just would not have. My granddaughter loves to read. They thought I was silly reading to her when she was tiny. A few people did. She doesn't understand you, and I said, doesn't matter. I want her to develop a love for the sound of reading, being read to, you know. These are all adorable. Princess tales, bedtime stories, classic tales. And is there another? I thought there was another one. the bank. Arthur and the new kid. These are all nice. And then you have the puzzle books. Word searches and coloring books and things like that. Issue number four. These are just darling. Look at the stories. Sometimes it's a long story, sometimes it's a short one. They're just so cute. Lift a flat books. Some great things. All right, and we're coming down the toy aisle where they have the games. Oh, this is cute desktop cornhole. Okay, that's nice. I don't know how effective those are, but we'll see. The fun puzzles. Is Baron Stain, not Baron Steen. They just have really great things. And of course, they just do, I think, do a great job with those. Oh. Oops. That's a cute one. I guess they're hidden throughout. That's cute. Okay, there's the doll cases. What's this? Finger paint sets. Okay, that's new. I haven't seen that before. So they have Baby Shark and Coco Melon. So what comes in these? Three finger paint tubs, one foam stamp, and five painting sheets. Okay, they're not that big. There's our color form games. I still have some of the fashion doll furniture, the umbrellas, the grills, and the lounge chairs with the side tables. Play-Doh. You can get it at Walmart for 50 cents. Sorry. This is cute, but I've seen some DIYers spray painting these and turning these into Halloween decor by making them into haunted houses. That's creative. These bubble snap pops. I've gotten these for my girls. These, these easily cost four and five dollars other places. So that's your best bet. The Arthur plushies, which I'm happy to see, and they also have the Berenstain Bears around here somewhere, I'm sure. If not, those are in other places. Plushies. 
of course, are the Fashion Doll Backdrops. I would love to see these, and I've said it before, in a nursery form for those dolls there. You know? Right? With furniture to go with it. That tiny toy. That's how sad. That's how sad. It's worth it. Sorry. And these figures are cute. They're great for cake toppers and things like that. So if you're in that respect, this is Play-Doh modeling clay, not Play-Doh. There's the Kung Fu Panda and the Jurassic World. So lots of fun toys. All right, I seem to have stumbled across Christmas things. This is a Cinemagic and Mistletoe. Mm. I didn't like that one that well. Coconut Eggnog and Holly Jolly Berry. Okay. I like that one. Those are nice. That's the fragrance oil. They also have it in the harvest berry, in the marshmallow fluff. And this should be the pear, yep. Oh, here they are right here. Duh. Getting that with a fragrance. Um, you know, the oil diffusers. They're, they're really good. I've noticed this year the boxes of four candles are going away and being replaced by three larger candles. So these smell really well. Really well. Well, no, they still have some, I guess. But these are the specialty fragrances for the fall, and these are the ones that come all the time, you know. Your apple cinnamon. Good to know. This is that Beauty Guru brand that uses essential oils for skin care. This is a, um, like a small family-owned business that does business with Dollar Tree. They're getting a lot of noise in the fashion magazines. So this is the under eye serum for dark circles and puffiness. It's a roll-on. Same thing. So snatch those up. There's a skin brightening. There's an anti-aging. They have a whole line of products. This one doesn't have everything, but they have them. Check out some of the things that are here. Okay, I don't need dark blonde. Here's NYX eyeshadow pods. We have different colors here. Oh, that's the purple. They're in these little bins like this, and this looks like it's lipstick. So. I've been wanting to get one of those for a while. Oh. Cute little Barbie nails. Oh wait, I like pink. I 
I haven't tried this, but I know that this particular thing might be really good for your heels and stuff. Comment below if you've tried it and if it's effective. Okay. And then we're getting into the soaps and body wash and things like that. All right, they seem to be well stocked with these shower gels, crystal waters. This is sage and cedar. I'll bet that's wonderful. And then they have the four, it looks like, rose, sage and cedar, peony, and lavender. And then this one, clean cotton, Roman chamomile, rose, and musk. So those are bath salts. I bet those are nice. And a rose can kind of be oof, too much. But we'll see. If it's blended with something else, it might be okay. And a new LA Colors Lip and Eye Essentials. So let's check this out. Okay. These shadow sticks. I've been willing to try these. It's supposed to brighten your eyes. I'll try them. And then there's your eyeliners and your mascaras. I've had no problem with LA colors. They always work very well for me. Here's some more of the Aroma uh, products. The Aroma Guru, this is Peppermint, Lavender, Muscle Ease. These are more of the products by those, by that company. I mean, if you can find something natural that takes care of it, why not? You know what I'm saying? These are always neat. This is the loofah soap. So there's a piece of loofah in here. Are these fragranced? Oh, this is coconut. It's lavender. Yep, lavender, and this must be citrus. Yep. this product razor bump and ingrown hair solution so if you have if your fella has an issue with that it's good to know they have that here in the Dollar Tree that sounds like it would be an expensive product elsewhere what is this may not necessarily want that style. What is this? Okay, I'm gonna get this and try it because I'm not sure how it works, but I'm willing to try it. For $1.25, it's worth it. have black ink so it's pink pens with black ink it's not pink ink these are dish towels socks magnets 